Hi everybody and welcome to our video. We're Anna and Sam from Northern Rascals. We're a dance company based in Hebden Bridge. We've been working together for the past three years now and we create work across Calderdale and across the whole of the UK. So we started dancing when we were really young, doing loads of different dance styles and trying out all different kinds of things. And we found that our favourite dance style was contemporary dance. Um, see, contemporary dance is a real exciting fusion and mixture of loads of different dance styles just put together and you just use whatever you feel like you want to. So that's the great thing about contemporary dance, it's whatever you want to do, whatever, however you want to dance. And that's what makes contemporary dance so great, it's about the individual and your uniqueness and how different you are. So when we were younger, we tried lots of different dance schools. I grew up in Calderdale, so I went to some in Halifax and Hebden Bridge. Sam went to some in London where he grew up. We both went to Northern School of Contemporary Dance in Leeds to do our degree. So that was our three year training programme. From here we danced every day from eight till five and we trained in lots of different styles, but predominant, predominantly contemporary dance. So we got to do ballet as well, we did theatre, we learned about lighting, all the different aspects of how to create a dance company and how to survive in the dance world. When we finished our degree, we both went to London and joined professional dance companies. Here we went across the UK and internationally as well. It was really hard work, but it's always been a lot of fun. So after we had finished our training and danced with a few companies, we both found that we really enjoyed making our own dance stuff and telling our own stories and making our own stories. So we then decided to team up and create Northern Rascals. Now, Norman Rascals does, um, creates many different like shows and new works. We create about uh, a few, few works each year. So we create one big work a year, and then we'll create a few smaller projects which will be within the community. Um, and we've done, last year we created, well we did about 40 different performances last mm -hmm. year. And that was in many different spaces, from theatres to streets in city centres and things like that, um, to libraries and even coming to schools and performing for you. So Northern Rascals is a company and we hire freelancers to work with us. At the moment there's about 10 in our core team that have been working across all of our different projects. So these are different artists in their own right. Some of them are dancers, some of them are videographers, some of them are composers, some of them are costume and set designers, and we also have a producer as well. So it's really important for us that we really collaborate together to make something wonderful. One, a few minds is always better than one, and we're really, really privileged and lucky that we've got a great core team that have continued to work with us and develop with us throughout the three years that we've been a company. So yeah, we always have about 10 freelancers, more or less. Sometimes we have a few more, sometimes we have a few less. So as we said before, contemporary dance is a massive mix of loads of different styles all fused together. Um, we, the idea behind contemporary dance is to really feel and connect with something from the themes, um, which then can encourage you to make a positive change to your lifestyle. We like to use contemporary dance and theatre mixed together, which we feel as if it creates and makes the ideas and the themes of um, our productions a lot more understanding and a lot clearer to the audience. Um, we like to create a narrative uh, world which has characters and a storyline to it. This, uh, this allows everyone to be able to connect and understand the themes that are going on. So in what space do we create contemporary dance? So contemporary dance is created in a dance studio. So dance studios are usually large, airy, clean spaces that have enough room for quite a few people to move in them. It's really important in a dance studio that we have a sprung floor. So this is a floor that has springs underneath it so that when we dance, 
the impact on the body is lessened and that we're going to be prevented from injuries or any problems that could occur from doing repetitive movement through dance. It's really important that the room temperature is also kept at a nice level so that we are warm enough to move safely and also have windows or aircon if we need to, to cool down because it can very quickly get hot in a dance studio. Sometimes dance studios have mirrors as well um, but they're, they're not a necessity, you don't need to have them. Some people do find them off-putting um, to be staring at yourself in a mirror all day. They can be useful for learning dance but if you want to do more improvisation which is when you just dance how you want to you can always pull a curtain across which most dance studios will have. When you get to having a finished dance piece and you want to perform it somewhere well where can you perform it? The answer is that you can perform it anywhere really. You could go for a more traditional performance space which will be like a theatre or a gallery space or maybe you could do it in your studio and invite people in or you can do it in a site specific location. It's quite a word, quite a mouthful to get out there. So a site specific location is something that actually responds and adds to the dance and it usually is quite an unusual setting. So for instance that could be a church, it could be a house, it could be outdoor in a street or in a park, um, but these often are more unusual and are normally more shorter pop-up performances that you might come across. Um, it's really important when you are performing that you do risk assessments um, and that you have the correct rights for the music then um, that you are going to play because uh, everybody deserves to be paid for the work uh, that they have created. So what tools do we need as dancers? Well the biggest tool is your body. And it's really important to keep your body healthy and well maintained so that you can dance for as long as you want to. So how can we keep ourselves healthy? Well, we need to eat well, we need to drink lots of water, especially when we're in the studio, we need to keep hydrated. Don't be afraid to ask your teacher for a water break. You should be able to have some water whenever you need. Um, we also need to have lots of rest. Obviously, it's a very physical job and we need to give our bodies time to recover. So that includes stretching, cool down doing complimentary practices such as yoga and also just taking some time to relax on the sofa and have a bit of you time. It's really important that we sleep well um, and that we put in positive structures into our day every day so that we can have a healthy body and a happy body as well. The other tools that we might need to use are um, laptops, um, cameras or notebooks. You don't have to spend a lot of money, it's just sometimes you don't remember everything that you think you're going to remember. So it's good to document your work so that you don't lose any of that amazing creativity that you've come up with in the moment. So, you know about the art form, but what do Northern Raw Schools actually do? Well, we work with theatres and organisations to create shows, films and opportunities for people to get dancing and creative. We work a lot with young people to help them discover their creativity and feel inspired and listened to. Most of the time we work with the audience to help create the show. They might give us ideas on the story, the costume, the lights and the movement. We want to create work for and with our community to help them feel more connected and able to make positive changes in their lives. So Sam, how do we do it? So. First of all, we get an idea, mm -hmm. and these ideas can come to us in many different places at any different given time. So it can either come sometimes when we're watching a show, when we're listening to some music, when we're sleeping, the thought can come into our heads, or even when we're sitting on the toilet, something might just pop up and we're like, oh my god, yes. So then we write the idea down in our notebooks and we let our imagination go wild. Drawing, writing, literally doing everything we can to make as much stuff as we can with this idea. Then we talk to our team and our partners. So these could be people that work in theatres or schools or they could be the artists themselves. 
it's really important that we collaborate. Collaboration is absolutely key to our work at Northern Rascals. We believe that alone you can do so little, but together you can do so much. Creating a show takes a lot, a lot of work, so you do have to ask for help and ask for advice and create the best work that you possibly can to do your ideas justice. Then we get some money, because everyone needs to be paid fairly for the time and work that they put in. So we work in the studio with our dancers and our team. Now this is where the magic really happens. So we plot, we plan, we create, we take it all away, rip it all down again, and then build it all back up again until we're really happy with what we have. This sometimes can take about up to two years. Then we bring the show to you. And this can come uh, to you in a theater, mm -hmm. can come on the internet like we are now, um, or it can happen in some really um, unusual spaces. We once did a performance in a swimming pool, which was pretty cool. So, Anna, why do we do it? So, we do it because we think that our world can sometimes be really confusing, and that can lead to you feeling alone. And we think that dance and theatre can give you the chance to see things differently, so that you can begin to understand life a little bit better. It can put you in somebody else's shoes and understand their actions and their choices. Sometimes life brings us apart and we think that dance and theatre is an opportunity to bring us back together. It's a really powerful tool for change. So now you've heard a little bit about us and how the company works and how the industry is, we'd love to share with you a little bit of our work and the kinds of things we do so you can actually see for yourselves what we like to do. Faz tica, tica, bum, tica Pra eu cantar Tica, tica, bum, tica Com a canção do Tica, tica, bum, tica Meu coração faz tica, tica, bum, tica E vem a saudade da Bahia Onde o samba tem canjeira também Numa batucada Tic, tic, bum, tic, 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 bum Tic, tic, bum, tic, 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 bum É brasileiro, tica, tica, bum, tic Com um pandeiro fazendo tica, bum, tic E para terminar um tica, tica, bum Vocês devem cantar o tica, tica, bum Tica, tica, bum, tica, tica, bum Tica, tica, bum, tic That's all you've got to say Do chase beijings away Chica, chica, boom, chica, chica, boom Chica, chica, boom, chica
There we go. We really hope that you enjoyed this little insight into our company, Northern Rascals. If you do want to see more, please head over to our website at www.northernrascals.com. And if you do have social media, you can find us on Facebook at Northern Rascals and Instagram and Twitter at Northern Rascals. We want to thank you so much for joining us and for doing something so productive and lovely with your summer. Thank you so much, guys. See you. Bye.